Gangsters are chasing me because I stole the money. The way my mom gave me the African mother spanking of life. Please don't cancel me. I'm a radio and television broadcaster, an actor, and a puff puff lover. So three interesting things about myself. One, I have a cat, and he's not a witch, I think. Number two, like I said earlier, I love puff puff. I have an obsession with puff puff. It is like, for me, the most important part of small chops. No puff puff, no small chops. And number three is I love high heels. I think I own about one or two pairs of flats and that's it. And I've even worn high heels to ride a bike. Maybe it's because I'm five foot four and I'm trying to overcompensate. I don't know, I just love high heels. All right, so guys, Simi Dre has taken a seat. The Duchess has arrived, cause I rule over these peasants. Expect class, bars, sophistication, amazement. Expect superiority when it comes to the lines. <laughs> Let me not go and disgrace myself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please bow down because the Duchess is ready to sink. So I'm not a huge cancel culture fan. Um, I do believe that it can go a bit extreme at times. Is my word something to do with cancelling or culture? Please don't cancel me because my bars may not actually be that great, but bear with me. <laughs> breads, sandwiches, but I wouldn't go out of my way to eat bread. I like a gay gay bread. I like a gay gay bread that's freshly baked. It's hot and soft like me. Make no mistake. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like, I get gay bread. <laughs> See ya, I haven't stolen money before, but I remember the very first time in my life I stole. So I went to the shops with my mom and my siblings, and I wanted sweets. I was quite young, I wanted sweets. And my mom said, no. And so when nobody was looking, I grabbed a bag of, I think it was marshmallows. I grabbed it and I walked out of the shop with it. The thing is, before I reached the car, this is where I found my own hand. I brought out the sweets because I was excited. I wanted to chop. And my mom looked at me and she was like, eh, where did you get that from? And I said, uh, uh, um, the shops. And the way my mom gave me the African mother spanking of life, she marched me back to that shop, proclaimed me, as a thief to everybody, made me apologize and returned it. And that's probably why I've never stolen money before in my life because I still remember that as in primary school, but it's still fresh in my mind, in my memory. So gangsters are chasing me because I stole the money. <laughs> gangsters are chasing me 
because I stole the money. But I'll go back and steal their hearts because I'm sweet like honey. Don't come for me. I'll steal your house. I'll steal your car. Then I'll run far. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite one was cancel, I think, because that's the one that gingered me. <laughs> that made me believe that I had talent. Yeah. Eminem, 50 Cent, who are you? Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> Please, can I just say something? The Duchess is so good that there is no scale that can measure this talent. Don't even bother. I'm not, in, I'm not part of this competition. I'm above the competition. <laughs> my dear royalty, because you know if you're my fan, you're royalty as well. Sia, so yeah, give me better score, because you know, you know, even the top score is too low for the Duchess. But shall I just try and put it down so the other peasants know who's on top? <laughs> Don't come on beating you if you've been on the show. <laughs> Hello, I'm Simi Dre. I've had so much fun on the sink, not the kitchen sink. Watch this face. Do not even blink. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be rhyming on my way home. It was so much fun. But don't forget to subscribe, watch, like, share, Ultima NG, and of course, listen to 88.5 UFM. <laughs>